Breaking news coming in the big story we are tracking at this hour. Probe agency's heat on Lalu Yadav and family continues. Tejasvi Yadav reaches CBI office for questioning. Sister Misa Bharti at the ED office. Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav calls it witch hunting. BJP trying to malign regional parties is what has been said. Pictures now of Misa Bharti also. We'll just put that out in a few seconds. In fact, arriving at the ED office, brother Tejasvi Yadav and Deputy Chief Minister of Bihar. Tejasvi Yadav. At the CBI office, Nisa Bharti is at the ED office, facing questioning from the ED in connection with the land for jobs staff. This in connection with the land for jobs staff, in which 16 people have been convicted. This includes Lalu Yadav, wife Rabadi Devi, former chief ministers, both of them, Lalu Yadav of course, in his capacity as the Railways Minister. Also, Hema and Misa, daughters of Lalu Yadav. Questioning also on of Tejasvi Yadav at the CBI office in connection with the land for job scam. And Misa Bharti has reached the ED office. Munish Pandey is getting us all of those details as well as the questioning of Tejasvi Yadav is concerned. Amit Bhardwaj has all the inputs on Misa Bharti's questioning. First to you, Amit. Misa Bharti has reached the ED office as per what was required. What next? What's going to be the line of questioning today? Get us all the details. Well, Sneha, you know, you rightly pointed out uh, that the heat is uh, mounting on the Lalu Parivar right now. On one hand, you have Misa Bharti who has just seized uh, the Enforcement Directorate office. In fact, I am standing right outside Misa Bharti's residence from where she left a couple of minutes back. I did uh, try to ask her questions, but uh, she signaled that she is not going to respond to the media today. Uh, uh, you know, she left from here. Uh, she has seized enforcement directorate. This is going to be questioning uh, in connection to the land for job scam, uh, uh, the, the uh, matter which is also being investigated by the Central Bureau of Investigation. So clearly the enforcement directorate could ask uh, Misa Bharti today about her role in the, inf uh, in the land for job scam. Uh, remember, uh, CBI has already filed a charge sheet in this matter and uh, in, in, in that particular case, uh, uh, Lalu Prasad Yadav is accused number one, uh, Ravdi Devi is accused number two, Misa Bharti is accused number three, along with the people who have gotten the uh, benefits as well as uh, the officials from the uh, railway department. So, a uh, similar investigation is being launched by Misa Bharti in this case and uh, uh, what she would uh, face, the, uh, the kind of questions that she would face today would concern about about her connection, you know, and uh, uh, the role uh, which uh, she might have played in, in the alleged scam uh, which is being investigated by both the central agencies, the CBI and the enforcement director. But today's questioning is going to be done by the ED. Back to you. Today's questioning is going to be done by ED. Misa Bharti has been convicted already by a court in connection with the land for job scam. Take us through the details of the alleged wrongdoings in all of this and Misa's role, Amit. Uh, well, Sneha, you know, uh, the allegations are that uh, uh, between when uh, Lalu Prasad Yadav was uh, Union Railway Minister between 2004 and 2009, uh, there was an alleged scam uh, which took place. Uh, this was basically uh, that certain people were given jobs uh, in lieu of land. These are the allegations which have been put by the Central uh, investigative agencies including CBI and the ET. Uh, CBI was the, is the primary agency which had launched uh, the investigation. And, uh, you know, uh, what uh, the allegations are that uh, these certain individuals were first uh, put as uh, the temporary employees in the railway department and later on uh, they were made permanent employees and uh, uh, they were, uh, these uh, uh, beneficiaries had, uh, had given land uh, to Lalu Prasad Yadav's uh, family or close associates. Uh, so these are the allegations which are being investigated right now and that is why if you look at the CBI charge sheet as well, uh, what you will see is that uh, it's not just these uh, three people from the Lalu Yadav uh, family, uh, uh, Mr. Lalu Yadav, uh, uh, Rabdi Devi, Misa Bharti, but also uh, railway officials along with the people who have gotten the benefits, uh, uh, that is the job in the railway department uh, uh, 
uh, have been made accused as well. Charges have been framed against them. Uh, 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 they have been named in the charge sheet as well. So clearly, you know, uh, this is a matter where there are allegations that uh, in uh, this uh, this is a corruption case and. Uh, in a very unique form of sorts, the allegation is that for the alleged corruption for handing over the jobs, uh, actually uh, the Lalu family and the close associates had taken, uh, you know, land in lieu of the job. So these are the allegations which are which have been labelled by the central investigative agencies and is being investigated as well. And we have seen that how the CBI has been questioning uh, the Lalu family in this matter. Uh, uh, it was around Holi that we had seen. Uh, that CBI officials had seized uh, this particular house, uh, Misa Bharti's uh, residence uh, in Pandara Park and they had uh, questioned uh, former rail, uh, railway minister and former Bihar chief minister Lalu Prasad Yadav in connection to the land for jobs camp. And uh, that was seen as a big political, uh, you know, uh, uh, furor as well, uh, had tr triggered a political anger in Bihar as well as as far as uh, the RJD support base is concerned because the RJD was constantly saying that look what is happening uh, Lalu Prasad Yadav has just returned from Singapore after uh, getting his kidney transplant done and he is not in the uh, best of his health and despite this uh, he is being hunt, uh, you know, haunted and hunted down by the uh, central investigative agencies. In fact, uh, the day when the questioning had happened at Misa Bharti's residence, we were told that uh, proper COVID protocol was maintained that day because uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Lalu Yadav had a possibility of uh, the doctors had recommended uh, to keep him uh, minimum outside exposure as much as possible and that is why proper COVID behavior uh, was also maintained that day. But later on, when uh, 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 when the court, Rausavani court had taken cognizance of the charge sheet, uh, all the accused were called. Uh, to the Rouse of any court in connection to the land for job scam and that day uh, we had seen that surprisingly uh, Mr. Lalu Yadav along with uh, Rabdi Devi and Misa Bharti had left in a single car from this very residence uh, for the Rouse of any court and uh, 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 Mr. Lalu Prasad Yadav was sitting in the front uh, seat of that uh, of the car that day and uh, the Rouse of any court had given a uh, bail granted bail to all accused in the matter and now uh, the the trial in and the case will uh, will be uh, you know started as well so that case goes to the trial phase in the rouse of the court and now you have the enforcement directorate looking into the allegations uh, and uh, and and the uh, uh, the outcomes of, of uh, the, the corruption that is being said that in this particular case it's not cash, rather it is land which was acquired uh, okay. uh, in view of, of uh, the uh, jobs that were given out. So these are the allegations and it's being investigated, remember, by two central agencies. Thank CBI you. And All right, back for the moment. Sahara. Amit, I'll just come back to you again. In fact, we have this uh, reaction that is coming from Akhilesh Yadav also, spoken about Vendata. Let's take a listen. जो भी जांच एजेंसियां जांच कर रही हैं, हम लोगों शुरू से ही हम लोगों ने कॉपरेट किया है, सहयोग किया है। लेकिन जो देश में माहौल है, आप सब लोग जान ही रहे कि जोकना जो है बहुत ही आसान है और लड़ना जो है बेहद ही मुश्किल है। तो हमने लड़ने का फैसला किया है और हम लोग लड़ेंगे और जीतेंगे। लगातार इन एजेंसियों ने भेदभाव किया है और भेदभाव इसलिए किया जा रहा है कि वो अपमानित महसूस करें ईडी सीबीआई इनकम टैक्स ये लगातार राष्ट्रीय दल नेशनल पार्टीज कोशिश करती हैं रीजनल पार्टीज को अपमानित करने के लिए बदनाम करने के लिए एक जमाने में जब कांग्रेस राष्ट्रीय पार्टी थी तो वो क्षेत्रीय दलों के ऊपर सीबीआई ईडी और इनकम टैक्स के छापे लगवाती थी आज बीजेपी है तो वो रास्ता वही है रास्ता अलग नहीं हुआ है